It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. We're already getting uh, the feel for this new NBA season. Uh, taking it all in with me, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll be watching the Orlando Magic playing against the Chicago Bulls. For Chicago, they want to come out of the gate strong tonight. We've heard them talk about establishing the upper hand right away, not sitting back and playing it safe in the early stages. With the new year getting ramped up, teams just getting into the swing of things. Kenny, some major storylines already brewing. What are you seeing? Well, you know, the rosters aren't coming together yet. And uh, it's still early. It's still tough to figure it out. But then there's a lot of teams that's just off the radar right now, but they've been impressive. So I think that it's too early to tell. You know, too early to tell Pick the good ones. You're going to give me an answer. I can't give you these ELNs, these Ernie like numbers yeah. yet. It's too early. Well, I, I see emerging young guns. You know, I see a couple veterans now hitting the wall, phys physically getting up there in age. But I got to agree with uh, Kenny, Ernie. It's too early to tell. Jeez, I'm sorry I asked. Time to tip it off. Here's Kevin Harlan. You asked too early. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. It's the Orlando Magic and the Chicago Bulls. Ready to go? And the Bull start out with the ball. Now the starting group for Orlando. Hardaway is out there with Tracy McGrady. Then there's Howard. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Hill in at the three. And it's sent back by Hill. Hardaway with it. Shaq with the screen. Hill dishes to O'Neal. Four on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, the long distance three is buried. McGrady's got his first three points of the game. And the replay brought to you by Under Armour, the Unleash Chaos moment, giving us a better perspective on just how far behind the line he was on that three ball. Now here's Jordan. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job and challenging it. Check his screen on Pippen. Here's McGrady. Good. The assist goes to Hill. McGrady's got a couple of threes now in the first for Orlando. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting calls, and for good reason. Well, this is also one of those things where you start to think about how you're going to change your defense already. If at all possible, make someone else beat you. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. So it'll be Derrick Rose shooting. That's on Dwight Howard. Chicago shooting their first free throw of the night here. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Now, here is McGrady. Six points for him. He dishes it to Hardaway. Howard with his screen on Rose. Screen by O'Neal. Just five to shoot. Here's Hill. And the layup's good off the glass. Phenomenal use of the body there to free himself up from the defender and get a clean look at the basket. Rose against Hardaway. Outside Rose. The 
the shot from the low post is good. Rose has got five. A guy who converts well at the rim, you like to see the aggression there. Yeah, it's the first quarter, and he's already in attack mode, setting the tone right here. Now here is Howard. Here's Hill. That's tipped. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Pippen with it. He's picked up by Hill. Jordan kicks to Rose. Goes right through for bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Here's O'Neal. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. It's good. And it's nine points for Derrick Rose. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start. Jordan against McGrady. To the inside. It's stolen by Rodman. The drive by Jordan. No good that time. So Orlando will take it the other way. Hill has the open look. Offensive rebound. Hardaway kicks to Hill. Again, missing Hill. Right now, he's just out of sync. A lot of shots rimming out, and he's got to try to find something different. Outside Jordan. Rebounded by Tracy McGrady. You got to make that. The defense was far from terrible, but, man, that's an easy shot. And he hits it and gets hacked on the that's play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And nicely done. Running the floor well, then attacking the rim. Uh, the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. The Magic shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Vucevic, he's checked in for Shaq. Grant comes in for Dwight Howard. Anderson, he's checked in for Grant Hill. And Nelson is subbed in for Tracy McGrady. One shot. That free throw good from Hardaway. There's 154 left to play here in the first. Kicks it to Armstrong. Anderson against Butler. Here's Sloan. Love with the screen on Nelson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Sloan. Kicks it out to Love. Anchor with a jumper from the elbow. Love's got his first two points. This guy is so tough to guard. He feels like he could take any challenge that the defense is going to throw at him. Anderson kicks to Nelson. Fires for three. Knocks down the three ball. Nelson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't D him up on the perimeter. Noah the screen. Sloan passes to Noah. He kicks to Armstrong. Here's Sloan. Gets to the corner and buries it. Orlando leading. Nelson dishes to Hardaway. Passes it to Grant. Anderson outside. Outside Hardaway. Over Noah. A second chance effort. And Orlando again with the bucket. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Sloan. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. For Chicago, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. At the line for two. The 
the first one falls. Scotty's checked in for Hardaway. Sloan hits them both. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throws. Nelson against Armstrong. Scott with a screen on Armstrong. Noah against Vucevic. Vucevic setting the pick for Nelson. Over Armstrong. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. It's the Magic leading by a point. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. Ah, the new era of NBA basketball playing outside in. We'll see if they can take advantage of that moving forward. And Orlando has possession. This is how the floor looks for the Magic start in the second. Scott is out there with Grant. And there's Anderson. And it's Jameer Nelson. And it's Vucevic in at the five down low. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities. And the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. Armstrong kicks it to Noah. Here's Love. The turnaround jumper. Count it. Love's got the lead up to one now for the Bulls. And this is what it's all about, guys. The competitive spirit, the energy that we're seeing. This one's got the feeling like it's going to go down to the wire. And if it does, as evenly as these two teams have played here, it's anyone's guess who's going to come out on top. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Butler kicks to Love. Here's Sloan. Outside Butler. Lock at six. A shot missing. Nice D from Scott. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Screened by Grant. Anderson passes to Vucevic. Fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Chicago trailing here. Armstrong kicks to Butler. Pass to Love. Vucevic with the block. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Scott. Misses the three smart defender there he just reads the play wastes no time trying to blow it up and what I like best is that he does it completely under control really gives the shooter nowhere to turn to now here's Butler he's been patient so far nothing yet on the scoreboard they get it again and he completely threw the timing off on that jumper that is how you D up playing with tremendous aggressiveness without fouling that's an excellent job Scott against Butler Scott kicks to Anderson. He feeds it to Nelson. Back to Anderson. The Magic need to get a shot off here. That's short off the rim. Pretty surprised he missed that shot. The defense was decent, but not really a factor. Butler kicks to Armstrong. Back to Butler. To stop the drought. Pass to Love. Comes up empty down low. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Anderson kicks to Grant. Outside, Scott. In the corner, it's Nelson. Picked by Vucevic. Anderson dishes to Vucevic. 
over Noah. Noah with the block. Fires it up. Sloan, that's good. Sloan's got six. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. And sometimes you just want a reminder of what our objectives are tonight. Yeah, get everyone on the same page and pointed in the right direction. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. Orlando trailing here. Screen by Howard. McGrady kicks to Hill. No good on that one. Nice D from Pippen. Jordan against McGrady. Jordan the pass to Rose. Jordan the screen. Hill against Pippen. Teardrop shot, and he sinks the layup. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. The Magic trail by three. O'Neal is screen on Rose. Tries it from the top of the key. And it's Armstrong missing. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another. And you need both elements working together. Hill, he trains the quick shot. Hill's got his second basket of the game. So it's Chicago now. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. There's a screen. Rose dishes to Jordan. They get it again. Back to Rose. From the arc. Nailed from three-point land. 12 points for him. Now he's torching the D right now. Hitting a high percentage of all the shots he's let fly. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now here's Rose. 12 points for him. Rodman kicks to Rose. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Five on the clock. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. For Chicago, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Derek Rose. Taking two shots. No good on the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. And for him, that is an ugly trip to the line. Rarely do you see him do that. Power. It doesn't go for him. Some solid defense by Rodman. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Jordan the pass to Pippen. Jordan the screen. Outside Rodman. Dishes it to Jordan. Over McGrady. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot. But he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And it's going to be on Tracy McGrady. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Chicago shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one at the line is good. And so Jordan nails both of them. And here is McGrady. He has six. 
releases. That one misses. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Bulls lead by four. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Been working out. An outstanding first quarter for Derrick Rose. He had 12 points and one rebound. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Magic. Well, this is a close game. Every point matters. Right now, they're not getting to the line much. To win this kind of matchup, you got to be the aggressor. You got to be, ah, you just got to be aggressive. Let's just see if they can ah, ramp up their intensity, Ernie. And time now to send you back down to the floor with Kevin Harlan. We'll see you later. Welcome back to the hustle and bustle of Chicago. A time-lapse view of all the traffic heading toward downtown. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. A fantastic game from Derrick Rose in this one. Yeah, good things happen when you maintain composure. Their shot selection has been extremely disciplined. Hey, Greg, is there a shot that he's taken that has been out of the flow of the offense? I don't think so. The Magic trail by four. We've got Rose. Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Gilmore in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job and challenging it. Rose, no good. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. Now, here is Hill. He has six. Feeds it to O'Neal. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Orlando shooting their second and third free throws tonight. down the first one. Second free throw, no good. Chicago leading. Pippen dishes to Jordan. Rodman sets a screen. Jordan kicks to Rodman. Shot clock at six. Jordan the pass to Rodman. Over Howard. Rodman's shot is off. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Block. That one goes careening off the glass. And Pippen with the basket. The assist by Rose. Pippen's got the lead up to four now for Chicago. Pippen's gone two or three from the field. Hardaway kicks to McGrady. 
The feed now to Hill. Screen by O'Neal. Back to McGrady. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pippen against Hill. Pippen dishes the Rose. Good D by Hardaway. The Magic trail by four. Bobbed up there for Howard. Gilmore grabs the miss. And a little frustration now missing on the catch and flush. Yeah, sometimes the easy play is the right play. You take a chance when you go for that big finish. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Yeah, he can't make a thing out there right now, guys. If he keeps this up, don't be surprised if his team gives up this lead. Knocks down the three ball. Pippen's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Bulls. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Hill kicks to Howard. Screen by O'Neal. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Hard away against Rose. It's Chicago with another bucket. So good at picking his spots. He always knows exactly what the team needs from him offensively. That's why they hold the lead. Screen by Howard. Hardaway passes to Howard. Will it go? He takes it up and lays it in. The Bulls leading by seven. Hodman sets a screen. Here's Rose, and it's sent back by Howard. And here's the fast break. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. And at full speed, he still has the wherewithal to get himself in good position. Yeah, the snap decisions right there. Reading the situation on the move and then making the right choice. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Pulls it from the elbow. Rose can't get that one to fall. Yeah, his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's hoping he finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. The dish to Howard. The pass to Francis. Misses the three. Chicago leading by four. Here's Rose. Outside Butler. Wants to get it to Rose and does. Bulls moving the ball around. And there's a minute 45 left in the third. Misses the layup. Scott against Kukoc. Kicks it to O'Neal. Howard in the post. He's covered by Dan. Good on the three-point shot. Scott's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Well, the defense looked lost there. Get out your compass. No excuses. You got to guard the perimeter. Rose dishes to Butler. Over Shaw. And again, no good by Chicago. Here's Orlando now. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Scott kicks to Howard. Counter! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. They get Lou all dang. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Orlando shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And the Bulls making a change here. Sloan's checked in. And a switcher also for Orlando. Anderson, he's checked in for Scott. good from Howard Chicago trailing here 
51 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Butler. The jumper's good from inside six feet. Butler's got his first points of the night. They have a chance to go two for one here. Well, let's see how they play the clock. Howard kicks to Shaq. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. And the Magic lead by two. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Kukoc kicks to Buck. Out to Kukoc. Beyond the arc. That doesn't go either for Butler. Here's Francis. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. One second left. Buzzer Peter! Great awareness of the clock to end the quarter. Now you like to finish things on a positive note, and he times that one beautifully. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Magic up by four. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Bulls trail by four. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. They've got Anderson. Shaw is out there with Armstrong. Then there's Howard. And it's Shaq in at the five. Now here's Rose. Gets that one through the hole, making now seven of 13 in this game. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. Howard with his screen on Rose. Armstrong passes to Howard. Home and he draws the foul, a chance for another point at the free throw line. It goes on Horace Grant. And I would not be surprised to see them double him up here. Grant Hill, he's checked in for the Magic. Bulls trail by five. Rose kicks to Sloan. Here's the teardrop, and it's laid in by Rose. Rose has got four points in the quarter. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Anderson dishes to Hill. He kicks it to Armstrong. It's back to Hill. Down to five on the shot clock. He dishes it to Anderson. And it's off from three-point range. Rose against Armstrong. Now here's Rose. Defense right on him. Outside Hill. Nailed from three-point land. And the Magic lead by six. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. Grant sets a screen for Dane. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. He's off on that one. Pass to O'Neal. Good. The assist goes to Hill. And now it's an eight-point Magic lead. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, timeout, what timeout. an assist. Chicago calls timeout. Yeah, I mean, it's Start. an opportunity to kind of regroup and, and discuss ways to maximize these possessions. Yeah, and therein lies the trick, discussing ways to be aggressive but not committing turnovers. He'll end 
Chicago making some changes. McGrady comes in for Anderson. Hardaway is subbed in for Armstrong. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what the Bulls coach was going over with his team. He said, guys, we look like we're running in mud. Let's get out and see the early offense. And if it's not there, let's run the half-court offense. Really good advice, guys. And right now, the game plan seems to be working. It looks like this team has finally gotten into the club and found its rhythm, trying their best to pull away. Now here's Rose. Jordan the screen. Rose kicks to Jordan. Outside for Pippen. Rodman with a screen on Hill. Back to Jordan. To halt the run. Bangs home the trifecta. Here's Hardaway. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Shaq with a screen on Rose. Howard kicks to Hill. Pass to Shaq. Goes back up. Chicago grabs the miss. Gilmore's got his third rebound tonight. Bulls trail by seven. Outside Rose. Here's the teardrop. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got rebound number seven for him tonight. McGrady passes to Hardaway. He feeds it to Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. Rodman sets a screen. Pippen dishes to Rodman. They set the pick. From deep, Rose. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Orlando leading by six. Howard with a screen on Jordan. Outside Hill. Here's Howard. They get it back. Down to Hardaway. Shoots the three. Good. And it's McGrady who picks up the assist. McGrady's got three assists tonight. Now he shot a lower than average volume here tonight, but his efficiency doing it has helped the team build the lead. Now here's Rose, and it's sent back by Howard. Hill against Pippen. Hill kicks to Shaq. Pass to McGrady. Back to O'Neal. Six on the shot clock over Rodman. Misses off the right iron. Bulls trail by nine. Outside Jordan. Dishes it to Rose. No good on the three. They're in good position here to ride it out. Yes, yeah, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. Here's Shaq. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Icing on the cake right there, fellas, for what has been just a phenomenal performance. Well, they are the mayors of City Hall in Blowout City. These guys were locked and loaded tonight, not to be denied. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Hill kicks to Shaq. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Six on the shot clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for Orlando, Shaquille O'Neal at the line for two. First free throw is good, and that'll push the lead to double digits.
He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. And that should be enough to get the job done, even though he didn't get all of them. Now Armstrong. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.